friends and countrymen. <laughs> Sorry, I always want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart, the Fen Treasure. Uh, we do these on our Fen Friday episodes. And today, we're going to take some of your comments, and there are some really good Ooh. ones. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. All right, so let's get right to it, okay? <coughs> uh, this week, the comment of the week goes to Jimmy Fast. And I'll bet Jimmy never, ever thought we would mention him on our show, but I have now. Here's his comment. Jimmy Fast says, time to change the name of the show <coughs> to Men Are Not So Smart. Now, this is in reference to the episode last week where we gave away a solve to the poem. Yep. And Jimmy... <coughs> we got a response from Tony Driver. You've heard us mention him many times. He says, ah, it's fun. Oh, and by the way, very wrong. I wonder how I know this. Well, Tony has his own resolve. Yep. And I'm sure he'll be going as soon as he can get his boots on uh, unsnow-covered ground. Uh, Corvette Ronnie, that's you, right? Yeah. Uh, joins okay. in and he says, Jimmy Fast, that just doesn't have the same ring to it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, besides, the name was already taken. It was already taken. Yeah, men yeah. are not so, so we, smart. We can't use that. Well, you know, we like to get back to all of our uh, people that leave comments. And so, uh, I, Jimmy Fast is, you know, no, no exception. Uh, I decided I'd write back to Jimmy and write him a nice note. And that was as follows. Jimmy Fast, thank you so much for your time watching our show. That was awesome. I'm pretty sure I don't like your attitude. <laughs> I take no satisfaction in blocking someone from our channel and content. I put in four hours of editing interesting content on this episode. My only hope was that our content would be thought provoking. Is your wish to continue watching our channel or otherwise, Jimmy? Yeah. You make the call, okay? Take a stand. Well, Jimmy did. He did, Ronnie. He says, Gallagher Entertainment. Hi, Lou. Thank you for replying to my comment. If you don't like my attitude, block me. <laughs> I stand behind my statement. You were given title to an Edsel solve and are trying to pass it off as a Cadillac. No, we're not. We're just offering it up. We're not for what it is. anything. Exactly. Yeah. Stop peeing on our leg and telling us it's raining. <laughs> that was Lou, by the way. <laughs> Good luck with your show. It was starting to grow on me, kind of like a fungus. Ronnie, what did you say? <laughs> I said I've heard that toenail fungus can be kind of hard to get rid of once you have it. <laughs> big Whoopi, one of our big fans, he writes, Jimmy Fast, you're a douchebag. <laughs> hey, he might be onto something. I don't know. And then finally, to wrap this one up, Ronnie, I know this has gone on a little long, but I, I find it to be uh, provocative. Uh, I wrote back at Jimmy Fast, you'll notice I haven't blocked you yet. Right. I want to give you a chance to come around to us. I think if you give us an opportunity, watch a few non-Fen episodes, get to know us, you're going to like both of us. But it's up to you. We might even mention you in one of our episodes. As has just happened. <laughs> well, and he wouldn't be the first one that we flipped. Right. Uh, we've had a couple of non-believers yeah. that uh, Anon Anon is sure. notable among those. Uh-huh. He was on one side of the fence, then he was on the fence, now he's on our side. I think he's a fan. And you know what? We we mean no he or harm. She. I don't know. That's could right. Be, could Anon, be she. Anon. Yeah. Uh, we mean no harm. No. Uh, I don't know how many times we're going to have to say this, Ronnie, but we are not searchers. No. Okay, and here's how we define it on this show. We're not even researchers, really. <laughs> no, we're kind of reporters. <laughs> yes. We report what we read and see, okay? A searcher is is out uh, with boots on the ground. Right. That is a true searcher. If you have not put any rubber to dirt, then you are a researcher. Right. Okay, we're not even saying we're that. No. We get stuff. We forward it on. We're givers that way. Oh, yep. yes, we're totally unselfish. Yep. And you know what, Ronnie? You're the funny one, and I am just excruciatingly charming. The, I've I've seen that before. Yeah, I've heard that. Mm -hmm. Okay, this right. uh, this comment 
It's from SMS 1949. Oh, yes, I'm familiar with SMS. And he says, thanks for trying, guys, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so Lou said back, uh, let me ask you a question. What do you think of the presentation, though? And that's kind of what this is all about. Exactly. It's like, hey, we're not saying this is the solve. No. It's it's a video. It's a show. Yeah. And so if you thought the show was okay, hey, how about a little, uh, how about a thumbs up? Yeah, so what we do is we bring you the information. We give it to you, as you can see we're doing right now. We back it up with photos to illustrate or further illustrate the point that we're trying to make with the video. Uh, there is a ton of editing time that goes into this. You don't get that on other channels. Yep. Uh, you, you don't. And that is why, where is that one where the person says, oh, here's one. Marshall George says, excellent Fen Friday, gentlemen. Uh, Ronnie says, we aims to please. <laughs> and where is this one from the girl? Oh, no, that's not it. Well, how about she, this one from okay. Tony Driver? All right. Tony said to all viewers of this video. Yeah, here you go. Your like or dislike of the video should be for the presenters and not the soul. Right. Uh, if you tell them, uh, it, I'll, I'll tell you right now, this is a very wrong solve. Sure, that's fine. Which And you know what? If it were probably, the right solve. <laughs> if it wouldn't be there. Yeah. Somebody wouldn't put it out there for the right solve. Uh, that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it or that you should do a thumbs down. Uh, I thumbs up because you brought this uh, to the fan community. It's still entertaining. Exactly. Well, that's our goal. You know, if you look at our description of our show, it's an entertainment show. Right. And and these are informational. Right. Mm -hmm. And we don't do strictly fan. We, uh -uh. we do a fan episode every week, mm -hmm. but we also have, we have a lot of other, we have 90% more other episodes yeah, than and, fan episodes. Yeah, and then there's all kinds of episodes for all kinds of interests. Here's one from Tamara. Our show is called What Men Are So Smart. Here's what Tamara, a woman, says. Best show ever. Well, Why? Because men are so smart. <laughs> I'm not, I don't make this up. You can go to our videos and see these comments. And what about Peanut? Pe oh, at first, my response to Tamara was, Tamara, no offense, but you have very good taste. <laughs> Signed Lou Gallagher, the I charming think she's one. Onto something. The charming one. Yep. And then Peanut says, Yes, I definitely agree that you are the number one Forrest Fenn talk show. Keep it up. Hmm. You know, we can't make the stuff up, friends. Right. Yep. So people are enjoying this. And what I'm saying is the Fenn community, uh, as a group and as individuals, they all have a solve that they believe to be true. But what happens is when another solve is offered up, for some reason, and I cannot sociologically determine why, they want to put down another person's solve. Right. It isn't necessary. Yeah. It's not that it takes away from the poem. It's not that it takes away from your solve. Come on, people. Yep. Uh, how about this one from King of Rabbit Holes? All right. Um, uh, he says, uh, haunted. Hmm. Oh, right. Cause, uh, the, the, we, had, mm -hmm. we had said in there that a that, gypsy woman, <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Uh, he says, let's do this road trip. Yeah. Cue Ray Parker Jr. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Ghostbusters. <laughs> oh, wait, can we say that? Ooh. Well, we'll find out. All right. Uh, and then he says, that would be the least weird thing I've encountered, uh, in the past 365. <laughs> And I replied, let mm -hmm. me see. Oh, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> yeah. And then he says, take it, Ronnie. Thank you. I think I just did. Take it. <laughs> uh, oh, this one is from DJ Navatech, who writes uh, with regard to the solution. I passed by there three weeks ago. It's not Fenny enough. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Fenny enough. It's a little less Fenny than we hoped yeah, it would be. Yeah, we go for a medium Fen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one was just not Fenny enough. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's see. Hydro Makers replies, wow. I don't know what that means. Uh, wow. Well. And I replied, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. See, we reply to these. Okay, anon, anon. Okay, I'm ready. And his, this is very innocuous, the, okay. his first part. He says, I just got notification of this, 
but I'm at work. Oh, because he gets the bell. He clicked yes. the bell. Okay. So thank you. And, 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 and you should that. do that too. Yeah. Uh, he just can't wait to see the new solve to be continued. Okay, yeah. And I said, uh, oh, it's a doozy. Oh, it was. And then I went on to say, work? Hmm. <laughs> Forget that stuff. You'll never get rich working for the man. <laughs> Start a YouTube channel like us, and in a mere 30 years or so, you'll be raking it in from the syndication money. That's, yeah. our, that's our retirement plan right there. Uh huh. Well, that's my retirement <laughs> plan, and you know that's true. Uh, right now, it, oh, uh, let, let's look at real time views for the uh, solve that we had that came out on Friday a uh, thousand. Dang. A <laughs> thousand views. Right. And, and you know, uh, uh, 10 dislikes. That's, eh, that's all right. I, I can live with that. Yeah, I exactly. Mean, I, I, no skin off of my butt. Right. Um, where is the one, um, <clears throat> ah, great. This is great TV here. Shoot. Oh yeah. Sorry. Well, how about, uh, Christine Kenzie? She says, force fan said it wasn't in a graveyard. Yeah. Take that one, Ronnie. Would you please? Uh, and so, and then also that Colorado was never listed in the book. Now I have told her, I responded cause she also emails me this. I responded to her in the email that a single grave site near somebody's house in the Rocky Mountains is not really a graveyard. That's a single grave site. And there are lots of those, as you get up in that area where people have like a little homestead out there and somebody, grandma and grandpa died and they wanted to be buried on their property. Yeah, under the old oak tree. Right. So that's not a graveyard. That's a grave site, uh, not a graveyard. And that's what... Um Bubba, the love squirrel, was trying to, you know, and speaking of that, Ronnie, that reminds me uh, from one of the comments that I received or an email. I, I don't know. I get so many of them. I can't remember which one was which. Uh, they asked me about the plane, oh, which yeah, is yeah, called yeah. the sedan. Right. Okay. And we believe that Fen, oh, well, the uh, Bubba believes that he may have flown to this area. And so one of the remarks was, well, is did anybody check to see if there's an airport anywhere near the solve? Well, I sent an email back to Bubba the Love Squirrel because I wanted clarification myself. And if I do, I know you viewers want to as well. Um, let's see. Uh, my, fa my favorite flights, this is from Fenn. My favorite flights were those when I headed alone and at 200 feet into the teeth of the Rockies, not knowing or caring where I would land. My least favorites were the two occasions when I lost my engine and was fortunate enough to find runways to land on, signed Forrest. So listen, and this is key. Are you paying attention to me, people? The sedan, the airplane, was also used as a bush plane able to land on uneven ground. Uh, Bubba goes on to say he could have landed this plane anywhere. That is why I was so sure of the plane. All right, there you have it. If you want to know any more about this, uh, what's it called, an aeronautic uh, sedan, do the research yourself. You make the decision. Uh, we have a comment here from Chris Kibbe a couple days ago. He said, my hat goes off to Bubba the Love Squirrel. He did a really good job. Um... I said, uh, you know what? There's a lot of possible connections in Bubba Solve. Yeah. So, I mean, there really are. There's a lot of things that some people have looked at before, but there he was a little bit outside the box in his thinking. Mm -hmm. A lot of people said that the story that Bubba had was a little too convoluted, a little too intense, I guess, if you will. And that Forrest had mentioned that uh, this was not that kind of a poem. But you know what? The poem is so vague and covers so much ground that I still can understand why if person A has solved one and person B has solved two, but believes that solve two is the correct one and solve one is nothing but a bunch of crap, why do you feel like you have to put it down? Right. I don't understand that. And, and honestly, the... I think the poem, and I've, I've mentioned this in here, the poem is so vague that you could actually work backwards from almost anywhere. Including the blaze. Yes. 
and come up with a find. You could come up with a solve from almost anywhere in the Rockies. I could come up with one for my front yard. You could. It's because it's just vague enough. Mm -hmm. That's why it's going to be tough to find this. I uh, I made a bet with somebody. I I'm not, hopefully I'll be able to find it here before we close. But I put some. I put my money where my mouth is. I got a fresh one dollar bill in my pocket, and that's yours. If nobody finds it in the next thousand years, then this the person that is going to get that dollar bill. You know what? I'm going to double that. <laughs> you're I'm in gonna, for. I'm going to double it. You're in for a buck too. Yeah, right. you bet. All right. So if cool. anyone doesn't find this in the next thousand years, you won't get the money. <laughs> if they still use money in a thousand oh, years. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's do a two dollar bill. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know what? Shout out to uh, Gene Bertolucci because he used to hand out two dollar bills all the time. I remember that. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, here's that uh, here's that comment from Ron Davis. Too convoluted a theory. Fenn says simplify. I believe if thousands of intelligent people haven't found it yet, it will never be found. However, if you're into it, enjoy your searching in the outdoors and feel free to prove me wrong by finding it. That's just it. If you have a solve and you don't have treasure, why would you want to put out down somebody else's Right. It's no more incorrect than yours is. Right. It's no more correct than yours is. Yep. So give it up, people. Just enjoy it for what it is. Uh, now, this one is from Bubba Squirrel. Wait a minute. Yeah, Wait a minute. It's Bubba I Squirrel. made that name up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> uh, Bubba Squirrel says, this was so cool. Exclamation point. All right. I am not sure about the, the trailblazers, though. Uh, oh, trail blazes though. Why is the peace sign upside down? That's a kind of a good indication or a good uh, question also. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I said, how uncanny that your name is what it is, right? Bubba Squirrel. Yeah. I checked. I did a little research. And then Lou said, always imitated, never duplicated. Bubba the love squirrel. Yeah. Yeah. You bet. All right. Well, look, there are some of the comments that we've received. And, you know, I could go... We could do a whole hour here because I have emails that I have not even gotten to. Well, on. and we have, I think, 118 <laughs> comments on here or so. And we've gotten back to almost every one. Yes. Uh, you know what? And yep. if I if I didn't even have something to say, I like the comment because y you took the time to to right. you know to write it. So and we do that. Um, yeah. Uh, if you've given us a ridiculous comment, we're going to give you a ridiculous reply. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, because that's how we roll. One other thing. If you make a suggestion, <laughs> oh yeah. If you make a suggestion on how we should do our show, uh, the chances are it's going to get deleted. Unless you want to start coming to the pre-production meetings that yeah. we have every week and spend the time looking for the stories, right? Yeah. Then you can, yeah. yeah. Then you can have some some uh, say in the content. Sure. <laughs> but, and if you have anything to say about the editing and that sort of. Uh, you know, uh, don't, That's all him. don't take, don't even, <laughs> you know, just saying, <laughs> first of all, if you have something negative to say, we don't care. Really. If it gets personal, you're going to get deleted. You're going to get blocked. If you, and I, and now look, we're not saying that you have to kiss our ass with your comment. No, that is not it at all. No, but it needs to be constructive. Right. And not personal. And do not attack any of our viewers with, um, let's just say, salacious, um, nasty words or comments. It's just not going to fly. Can't we all get along? Exactly. Yeah. And, and you know, Thank let's, you, let's wrap Thank it up with this, okay? This is our show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we're going to do what we want. Yeah. We appreciate whatever you have to suggest. But it's our show. We've kind of always done whatever yeah. we wanted, haven't we? Yeah. Pretty much. That's why we did this show. Yeah. It's not like having to be in corporate radio. Right. We make the decisions on what we talk about and don't. Yep. And for your viewing, we appreciate it. Uh, we know that you've got a million other things you could be doing with your time, uh, but you've chosen to spend some time with Ronnie and I, and, and we are greatly appreciative of that. Uh, we'd like it if you'd subscribe to our channel. It's very easy to do. Uh, when you do so, click the bell so that you'll get notifications each time a new show comes out. 
Our shows come out on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. Pacific, 9 a.m. Eastern. And please, when you're commenting, uh, once again, let me remind you, please put down where you're watching. Yeah. Where, whether it be in the United States, put down what state. I am really super interested in where everybody's from. Like, so we get a we get a breakdown of what country mm -hmm. is watching. Mm -hmm. You know, United States, Russia. Yeah. Uh, Kazakhstan. Italy. Borat. Pakistan. Borat watches us, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think so, too, yeah. But, yeah, we don't get the... We don't really get the breakdown. We don't get anything, you know, more specific than that. And we really would. We'd like to be. And it, it would help us to understand a little bit more, too, and, and maybe even be more selective in what stories that we do, uh, knowing where you're watching from. You know, there might be people watching us that don't even speak English. They just like the looks on our faces. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> This is why we have a show, Ronnie. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this is for you that don't speak English. We hope you've enjoyed. <laughs> I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And this will wrap up another episode of Men Are So Smart, The Fen Treasure, Your Comments, and Fen Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Next time. <laughs>